All right, I take a good look at this. This is what is left of a mobile home in West Rehoboth after a malfunctioning kerosene space heater sparked a fire just yesterday. This home, sad to say, did not have working smoke detectors. The good news is everybody's okay. Now, did you know that if you walk into a fire station in Delaware, they can hand you a free smoke detector and battery if yours are not working? You just have to check it. That's all you have to do. Now, mm -hmm. we're going to tell you these reminders because this is National Fire Prevention Week. Did you know, according to the Federal Emergency Management Administration in 2010, there were over 362,000 fires, resulting in over 2,500 deaths and over 13,000 injuries, as well as over six and a half billion dollars in losses. Wow, what a statistic. And here to tell us more about Fire Prevention Week is Mike Lowe, who is a senior fire instructor at the Delaware State Fire School and the Laurel Fire Department. Thank you Hi. for joining us this afternoon. Let's start some, with something that we hear all the time. Never, never cook and walk away. Never leave your food unattended on the stove. People have to stop and realize that the kitchen is the most dangerous room in the home. Mm -hmm. There's more, uh, more chances of having an accident or more hazards in the kitchen than any other room. So we recommend that you pay attention to what you're doing around the heat sources and just take some precautions to prevent a tragedy from occurring. Yeah, one of them you mentioned, and I thought this was pretty interesting because I'm a multitasker. I'm doing seven things at once. Is to take a spoon or something, or uh, an oven mitt when you leave the kitchen, so you can kind of remember you have that food. Yes, it's it's a nice answer to say stay in the kitchen if you're cooking. In today's mm -hmm. environment, we know that's probably very impractical. So what we will recommend is if you leave the kitchen and you have something baking in the oven or whatever the case may be, take a spatula, take an oven mitt, something you can hold in your hand when you answer the phone, and that's a little reminder that you need to get back in the kitchen and take care of whatever it was you started before the interruption occurred. I had never even mm -hmm. thought, that's the mm -hmm. first I've heard yeah. that, and it's such a great idea. It is. Um, okay, so it's getting colder. Right. Cold weather's here, we're turning on the heaters. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times we're told, you know, make sure you clean them out first. A lot of us mm -hmm. don't do that, and that's really not a good idea, is it? That's not a good idea. The recommendation is that once a year you have a serviceman, check your heating system, make sure everything's in working order, and it will prevent fires, and also from having a cleaner, more serviced unit may save you a little money in energy cost. Right, and it's not just a furnace. Some of us have fireplaces. Yes. We need to get our chimneys checked. Yes, chimneys uh, should certainly be checked for creosote buildup in the um, creosote build up in the chimney which may cause a fire eventually just from the combust combustibles being there and we certainly recommend that you take care of that. And you got some other uh, simple tips here as well of things to do. Yes, yeah, some things we talk about is uh, having adequate space around space heaters, making sure they're not in the area with combustibles. Clutter is a big cause of fires around the home just where you think you put drop the newspapers or whatever you think everything's okay and then once again just that second of not paying attention it comes in contact with a heat source and a fire occurs. And up she goes. So uh, what about appliances in the home? Appliances in the home uh, once again is we talk about the service we need to stop and think about the dryer and the laundry room and the importance of keeping it clean 92 percent of the fires in the home that are started by an appliance are started by dryers and what has to occur is make sure when you finish your laundry, you take a second, you clean out the lint traps, and once again, get them properly serviced where the serviceman has the ability and the tools to clean it better than honestly you can at home. Yeah. And there's a big percentage of home fires that are caused by Correct. the dryer. Yeah, 92%. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. So all this week you're trying to spread a message. What is it? Uh, this week is National Fire Prevention Week. It is spearheaded by the National Fire Protection Association, of which uh, fire companies in the area participate. Here on Delmarva is, is no exception. Events going on all over Delmarva this week, from Eastville to Claymont, promoting fire safety. The one little uh, disclaimer we put in there is fire safety is not a one week a year activity, so think about it all year round. However, many local fire departments, many civic clubs are having events this week to promote fire safety. Uh, we'll have a huge dis display Saturday at the Apple Scrapple Festival. I think just at the fire school we have six events that we're attending on Saturday. 
and just get the word out there again to remind the citizens to think about fire safety. Plan ahead. Plan you know ahead. what you're going to do. Yes. Mike, thank you so much. Appreciate thank you. you coming in this afternoon. Okay. Great information. Good information. Good stuff. And of course, if you missed any of it or if you would like to read more, go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, it just may be one of the Delmarva's best kept secrets, but it's no secret that the education students receive here along the beautiful Corsica River is top notch. The history behind the 100 year old Gunston School and what graduates can expect their future to be like. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.